again with Home Built, and today what I'm doing is going to be starting to build the roll cage. And I've really been uh, looking forward to learning this. It's something I've never done before, so uh, I wanted to learn how to do it, and this is the perfect project to do it. So, for starters, uh, the first thing I had to go through is actually find some steel tube for building a roll cage. Now, it's important that you have to get the correct materials to do it. In Australia, we've got CAMS, which is the Confederation of Australian Motorsport, and they're the governing body for pretty much all racing in, in Australia. And they have this thorough guide on exactly what is allowable for roll cages in Australia. So CAMS calls for a minimum of one and three quarter inch cold drawn steel tube. The next step is to bend it. Now, the issue I had is that tube benders are ridiculously expensive. I'm looking at a couple of thousand dollars for a tube bender that I'm only going to use a couple of times and I can't really justify that for what I'm doing. So my my next thought was going to these pipe benders which are quite cheap and readily available but from what I've seen you can't just bend tube with a pipe bender. It doesn't really work. It kinks the tube etc. But I have seen some guys online who have modified a pipe bender to bend tube so that's my first task. All right, so now I've uh, drilled the hole through the die and made this shackle up to go over the top with a, uh, a pin holding it through, I've just used some old bolts I've had lying around, and I've welded a nut into the top of this shackle so that this can slip over the tube. I can, I've used this piece of protection tube so I don't dent the top of the tube when I bolt it together. So hopefully I can bolt the tube tight and um, look, we'll give it a go and see how it works. All right guys, so, um, as you can see, it didn't work. The uh, clamping method on the standard pipe bender, it just, I've seen some guys get a much better result than this. For me, it didn't work. It squished the tube, it's kinked it. It's really not what I'm after. I really want to have a good result. I reckon I can modify this system and turn it into a makeshift tube bender. Now, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to modify this die and modify this so uh, let's head off to the drawing board and uh, see what we can come up with. the die mostly done so um, what you can see here is I cut out these two pieces of plate and uh, yeah definitely not the easiest thing to cut it out with a uh, hand angle grinder and a one mil uh, cutting disc but uh, I got there in the end and um, struggled through with the 20 mil drill bit on the drill press it really uh, really didn't like trying to cut through this uh, thick plate but you can see here I drilled the holes through and I bolted it straight through and I've got just a piece of uh, 20 mil pipe in there so that is the, the die set up ready to go and you can sort of see that it's going to pivot on there quite nicely. So. Alright guys, I'll take you through roughly what my thinking is here. I'm sort of uh, flying by the seat of my pants a bit, but we'll just see how it works. At the moment, I'm going to pivot this die through this set of holes here, just for ease of the fact that they're already there and making things as simple as possible. So to show you from the outside, to sort of give you an idea, it'll go through here, the tube will be clamped on at the top here, and then as it's jacked up, it's gonna pull the tube around like that. So that's the, that's the theory. Now to get that to happen, I want this jack as close to underneath this end of the die as possible. So I've unscrewed it, and I'm gonna move it over and tap a couple of new holes in the bottom there, so that it's pushing more directly up underneath. 
All right, guys, that's it. That's all of the fabrication done. So hopefully this tube bender now works. Now, um, I'll run you through what I've done here, but uh, you saw how I made the initial part of the die. Well, I've also added on here, I've added a collar on the front that will hold the tube in there like so. So that's uh, just bolted on the front there. And I've added this as a pipe on here, which will sit on top of the jack. Nothing left now, but to see if it works. All right, that is really annoying. Um, I really wanted it to work, but it really didn't. Um, as you can see here from the result of the tube, it's better than the first time. First time it really kinked it, but this time there is actually ripples in the inside. Uh, slight ripples there and it's definitely flattened off a lot on the top and I think what I can come to the conclusion of is that the fact is this die is just a little bit too big and it's, it's not tight enough fit for this tube so as you can see here the uh, my forcing tube that's set on top of the, the jack is all bent and buckled the bolt on the shackle on the other side that was uh, that was a surprise that that really that really bent quite a bit but uh, again I can probably uh, work on that and get that a little bit better and a bit of a tighter fit and uh, hopefully it won't be as much of a problem so one more attempt and uh, yeah we'll, uh, we'll see if it gets any better So um, I've gone through and I've beefed everything up uh, quite a bit. So this ram, which was sitting on top of the jack, which buckled and bent uh, a lot last time, I've now gone and made a new one and double sleeved it. So hopefully it shouldn't buckle and bend as badly. Uh, also, I've gone through and replaced all these M8 bolts with M10 bolts. So hopefully they're a bit heavier and uh, won't bend and buckle so easily next time. And the uh, other thing I did is I went through and I spent quite a bit of time with a die grinder and a piece of tube and ground it out and looked along underneath the tube to try and get the best fit possible, to try and get a better fit because I think that's been one of my big issues. So let's try it again. That was terrible again. It's all kinked. It's not working. It's driving me crazy. All right, after hours and hours of frustration and um, getting a little bit shirty and throwing my toys out of the cot, I've uh, had a night to sleep on it and I've come to the realization the main issue I have is that this die, even after a lot of die grinding, etc. It's just not a tight enough fit. So my last option is to take all this stuff apart, go back to the original pipe bender and try a sand filled tube. This is the last shot. That is a hundred times better. It is very lightly kinked on the inside, which still would not be acceptable for a roll cage, but I don't. All right guys, so that was uh, almost a week of stuffing around trying to get this tube bent. And ultimately, I think it comes down to the fact that this die is just not a tight enough fit for the tube. And no matter how much I die grind it out and get it as neat as I can. It really needs to be a really good, solid, tight fit. So the guys who've had success have obviously got a better fitting die. This one, this one's just a bit, it's a bit too loose, even with a lot of die grinding. It's too loose. So I decided I've gone online and I've uh, ordered a new die from the States. That would be the right die for, for the job. And uh, yeah, then hopefully we can get the, uh, the cage built. So. The cage is going to have to wait for a little while. I'll uh, try and work out what I'm up to next. Might actually start uh, doing some body filler. So 
that's it from me. If you enjoy the videos, uh, which I hope you guys do, um, please subscribe to my channel, Home Built by Jeff, and um, see how I go uh, moving forward on this beast.